All right, boys and girls, welcome back to another video. Or, you know what, if you're new here, welcome to Ludix Aviation. I basically make aviation videos, flying with students. I do that in Orlando, Florida, which is very sunny, which ties into the title of the video. So I was recently contacted by a company who happened to make sunglasses and apparently make sunglasses specifically targeted at pilots. And that's what is in this box. Uh, it's from a company called Flying Eyes. Never tested out any of their products, but lucky for me, they contacted me and said, hey, listen, free of charge, we're gonna send you some sunglasses, see if you like them. So listen, with that being said, there is gonna be some flying involved in this because I really wanna test the sunglasses to, to just see what my opinion is of them. What you're seeing now is gonna be a natural reaction to whatever is in this box. You're also gonna see the process of me deciding whether I wanna become an affiliate with Flying Eyes based on my opinion and if these do what they say they should do. Here's the selling point. This company says that the arms of the sunglasses fit better on the side of your head because usually I have to wear my normal Ray-Bans that I've been wearing above the ear cup of my headset because if you put it underneath, it digs into the side of your head. I don't know. I've never seen this product before, so we're gonna learn about this together. All right, this, this, is, a, this is literally the best I can do. Nicely packaged. This is their information if you're interested. If you wanna follow me as well, my, my stuff will be up here. And go and do that on Instagram. I think the one that I got was uh, called the Kingfisher. Engineered for headsets and helmets. Flexible micro thin temples, no noise leakage, no head pain. That, that's a huge one. Virtually unbreakable. I don't know why you'd want to do that while you were flying, but you can do it if you want. They feel really light. Oh wow. First thing I noticed is how light they are. I like the logo as well. I got the mirrored sapphire. I like it when people can't see my eyes because I think I'm cool. But look at them, they are snazzy. Because these are brand new, I don't want to bend these yet, but I can feel already how flexible they are. And they feel really thin. I don't know, all right, we're gonna try them on for the first time. They are so light, like, I, I've, I, I've been wearing Ray-Bans for quite a while now and they're a little bit heavy. A really light. Tell you what, let me get my headset. On the microphone. So they say that you should be able to slip them on, no issue, which is true. They've kept that promise and they should just be able to sit there. I'll tell you what, already I can definitely feel a difference. But again, I've been wearing it for two seconds. Uh, the, the real test is when I go and fly. Cause like I said, I promise you, there is gonna be a flight in this video. But look, compare that, I have to wear these. I have to wear those up like that. And you look a little bit ridiculous. And it feels okay for now. I right, we gotta go and fly. I promise you some flying in this video, you're gonna get it. So let's go and fly. What is this contraption? I'm not flying a Cessna today, so I don't need any of these nautical knots. <laughs> like, what is that? All right, we're at the airport, outside 042. This is where I'm gonna to fly today. Today's plan, go over to a place called Merritt Island, over towards the east coast. I'll do a quick touch and go, bring it straight back. Nice quick flight. This is the first time I've worn these outside. Now I've got to tell you, I like them. I like them so far. Clear for up. That's hilarious. I just went to do my normal thing that I usually do and I put my headset on, I do that, and then the sunglasses, I immediately go like that. The bum like that, but with these, you shouldn't need to do it. You can just slip them in and out really easily. Noticing stuff already. All right, welcome to the cockpit of 32042. It's just me and a sectional chart today and a GPS. So we're going to check 32042. Information Whiskey, we're at uh, Romeo 7 for an eastbound departure. 32042, Romeo 25, Texas, we have Bravo Alpha. Bravo Alpha 25042. My uh, instrument student Conrad, who you've seen on the channel, young Bob Hoover, he's just gone flying with my friend Matt and his girlfriend, not Matt's girlfriend, Conrad's girlfriend, Paige, who is known as Goose. <laughs> They've gone over to Brooksville because uh, Conrad wants to practice some stuff. That's good. He's taking initiative and doing stuff with his uh, outside of training with an instructor, which is what you should do in your instrument stuff because it cheapens things, it cheapens things up. I'll be honest with you, I would have normally been feeling something in the side of my head at the moment if I if I put my, my other sunglasses underneath the uh, the cups and it's not, it's not hurting at the moment. But we've not even got off the ground, so shut the f*** up. Let's go and do the runoff. Alrighty, just brief this departure, we're coming off runway 25, which is that way, it's going to be a right turn out more than likely towards the east. It could give us a left downwind departure, which would, would have to stay below 900 feet, but we'll expect the uh, the turn towards the north, and then eastbound from there, maintain eastbound till the Bithlow Towers, then it's going to be south eastbound towards 
Merritt Island. Merritt 042, runway 25, clear for takeoff, right downwind departure approved. Runway 25, clear for takeoff, uh, with a right downwind departure, 042. 25, 25. Here we go, hills to the floor, let's roll. Alright, a little wind off the left, you can feel it lifting the wing, and airspeed's alive. All my engine instruments are in the green. 60, 65, uh, rotate. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the sky with new sunglasses. Not taking off on 2.5 for a long time. It's always been 7 for like at least a couple of months. There we go with the right down wind. I can see the Bithlow antennas, the Bithlow towers already. Coming up to a thousand feet, fuel pump. These are all good. Initial climb, looking fine. 1300, stay below the Bravo. We've got a Bravo airspace shelf of 1600 feet above. And I don't know about you, but I don't want to get a phone number. Whenever that happens, and you hear it over the radio, because you do hear it sometimes, it's like so cringe. Uh, yeah, the old checklist, uh, the climb, flaps, fuel pump, engine instruments, initial climb, all done. I am shocked that I'm not feeling anything on the sides of my heads at the moment. Heads. How many heads have I got? Stop it. <laughs> if you're interested in getting early access to videos, you can become a member of the Ludix Legion, which is basically the channel members. And if you get early access to, to videos, you can click the link in the description and become a part of the Ludix Legion. As of the time of recording this, like 56 members. So thank you to all the Ludix Legion members. Your names are in the description. Here we go, we've crossed the final. We're coming up to the Bithlo antennas. And once we're past that, we're able to climb. Nine zero four two, frequency change approved. Thanks, Thanksgiving. Thanks, approved. Thanks. Uh, happy Thanksgiving. Zero four two. That was nice. All right, we're passing the Bravo shelf. So now we can give it a climb up to two thousand feet. So I used, I've been using for a while ray bands with a fairly thick metal. Uh, um, so I'm take them off, put these on, but put them underneath the thing already. I can feel these digging into the side of my head because they're being pressed by the by the cup of the uh, headset. So usually I have to wear these like this, and that looks ridiculous like I said earlier in the video. I'm not getting bounced around here. Before these, I was using these Oakleys. And these are even worse, like you can't even put them in properly, like they get stuck. So you gotta lift them up, lift them up, and as soon as you do that, you lose uh, some of the noise cancellation. So I can hear a lot more of the engine sound, the ambient sound in the plane. And even these don't have as good sun protection, it, it, it would seem. Like, it feels a lot different. We're getting bounced around here, Jesus Christ. So again, even these, I have to put up like that, which looks even more ridiculous. But, it would appear, after the short time I've been wearing these, these are the solution. That's what it seems. I'll let you know by the end of the flight. Like if by the end of the flight I got blood pouring out the side of my head, you'll know. The link won't be in the description. But as of right now, these are, these are really cool. They're really nice. Alright, uh, we got the weather over there. It's 16804, so I'm actually probably going to use 11. In fact, I'm definitely going to use 11, but I'm going to listen to. Design left down, run runway 11. There you go. All right, those merit in sight. I'm going to hold off on the pre-landing checklist for now. Checklist, fuel pump, light light mixture. Mike Delta is on a rough downwind for only 1-1, one one. merit on traffic. Uh, back it up with the Ludix Aviation checklist. Swing it out towards the water tanks. I forgot I'm wearing these brand new sunglasses. Right on in traffic, uh, Cherokee Centennial Alpha, base 411. Nice, there's the water tanks. This is a beautiful view. Wow. Beautiful out here. Alright, we'll make the turn towards the, uh, the tanks. There's a guy on the on the ground, there's a guy in base, there's a guy upwind now. 
sorry, departure leg. Merit Island traffic, Cherokee 32042 left down, we're 1 1, touch and go, Merit. Entered the pattern, guy on final, I think that's the only guy left. So here we go, not been here for a long time, man. 7 0 Mike Delta is holding short 1 1, also 1 Merit. Four notch flaps, slow it down. Maryland traffic, uh, Cherokee 32042, left base, uh, 1 1, touch and go, Merit. Very, very nice views out here. I can understand why a lot of people, I've got a few people on my Instagram that tell me they train out of Merritt Island. I can see why you come over here to do it. It's beautiful out here. Oh, there's 1-1 one, one, and I'm too high. So that's gone well. And with traffic, uh, would you mind to extend a little bit for the Seminole uh, holding short? No problem. Uh, Cherokee Alpha Bob extending left downwind 1-1. One, one. Thank you. Merritt Island traffic, check 32042, turn your final 1-1, one, one, touch and go, Merritt. Nice, nice, beautiful. Speed's going back to where I want it. Cool little approach. I wish it was the opposite runway though, because you're coming over the water. That would be cool. Well, this is still cool. Alright, let's land this thing. Airspeed's fine, don't need any more power. Mira on traffic, 705, nice little Mike Delta is going to line up on, on runway 11. Let's Let's roll. Gages are all fine, that's pretty live, 65. Put it into ground effect for a minute. Uh, I'm right on the traffic, Cherokee 7 Tango, Alpha down, one way, 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 a lot of Cherokees out here, that's why I like Merritt Island as well. A lot of traffic, A33 Tango, Bradway's middle way over the blue. I, I, I know this video is about the sunglasses, so I'm not even going to apologise for banging on about this. Not once have I thought that my head's in pain. That is sick. This is the solution. Flying eyes optical. You, you've done the trick. Now I want to try the radiators that they've got. Probably going to give us a straight in for runway 25. It's, it's beautiful BMC day. I say beautiful again. Knocked about with these winds, but oh, okay, we'll drop it down and do 1300 again, just so we can stay way, uh, way below the Bravo airspace at 1600 feet. I don't like to be within 100 feet of it. In Florida, you can get a gust or a thermal that will bump you up more than 100 feet. And whoops, you're in the Bravo. Uh, the problem with these Bithlow Towers, the antennas, is they give me radio interference. Executive Tower, Cherokee 32042, it's uh, 12 miles east, X-ray, full stop. Cherokee 32042, Orlando Executive Tower, make straight in noise you pass. Cool, man! So I've been flying, the cameras have been recording for about an hour. An hour of flying, no pain whatsoever. And these sunglasses are a revelation. These are the answer to the problem that I've been having, having to put my, my arms above the, the ear cup looking like a moron. So flying eyes, you've done well. You've got yourself an affiliate. Oh yeah, no, there's the decision made. So yeah, you can go to the link in the description, click that to get 10% discount, and you're getting a good product as well. Welcome to the Ludix Aviation family, flying eyes. Or, or am I being welcome into their family? It, it, it works either way. Shut the f up, just land the plane, you moron! No. November 042, around the lane, 25 clear to land. Clear land 25042. I'm gonna keep the power in until really short final, then I'm gonna chop it, drop it, drop the flaps, and get in as quickly as we can. I think this is cheap as we can, because I am actually paying for this, believe it or not. I mean, why wouldn't I be? I'm the only one in the plane. Shut up and just land. Alright, speed's down, or getting down to where I want it. Seems nice and calm down here once you back all the power off. I'm dropping altitude, gaining the, I'm getting back on the glide path. Speed's where I want it, slow it down a little bit more. This is 9515, Atlantic Executive Tower, and a right down runway 25. 
Welcome to the ground. Flaps, landing light, fuel pump mixture, trim, done, see you later. All right then, boys and girls. Well, thanks for joining me. It was good. Thanks for coming on this journey, testing out these beautiful sunglasses, which passed the Ludix Aviation test. But thanks for joining me. I'm going to park this up, and that is the end of the video. If you're not subscribed, get yourself subscribed to Ludix Aviation. It doesn't cost you a thing.